the aim of our experiment is to study the friction in pipes and the apparatus required for this experiment uh, we need a pipes having different diameter connected to a differential manometer and a collecting tank stopwatch scale and here we can see the diagram of uh, uh, the apparatus used here we can see that there are uh, different pipes of different cross section areas for, with which a manometer is connected here is the main inlet valve at the bottom left of the diagram and there is the collecting tank where this person is standing and we have to open the inlet valve to let the water flow through it and we will note the manometer readings so here practically we are trying to find the effect of friction on flow due to pipes so theoretically when a fluid flows flows through a pipe system uh, there are losses depending on various physical factors uh, mainly we can uh, divide them into two parts uh, that is major losses and minor losses so uh, now the first part uh, uh, that are major losses uh, these losses are due to friction uh, basically due to only friction and on other hand uh, minor losses are due to uh, physical factors like wall bends elbows sudden expansion or contraction uh, major losses due to friction are estimated by darcy wells batch formula uh, so basically we have uh, this formula uh, uh, is uh, uh, most widely accepted for calculating the friction uh, uh, due to fluid in pipes so this formula is hf is equal to 4 f uh, lv square upon 2 gd where hf is the head loss due to friction uh, l is the length of pipe d is the diameter and uh, so on uh, next slide please mohit so the darcy wells equation is the most widely accepted formula uh, for determining the uh, energy loss in uh, flow of pipe, in this equation, uh, the friction factor F, uh, uh, is a dimensionless uh, quantity is used to describe the friction of this pipe. Uh, uh, next step. So now the practical applications of uh, uh, this formula and this experiment. So basically, in engineering, we are trying to uh, as we are trying to enhance the efficiency of uh, anything, uh, whatever product we are working on. So basically, if we are uh, trying to find, uh, if we are working on a pipe system, so we really trying to, what we re really trying to do is that uh, the losses must be minimum. So uh, basically, we can say that it is important to increase the pipe's productivity, that is maximizing the flow of. Uh, uh, rate capacity. So basically, in that uh, uh, area, this experiment is used uh, simply to uh, enhance the efficiency or the uh, low the friction in the pipes. And there are other uh, 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 uses of this uh, experiment. And uh, uh, doubling the diameter of a pipe results in the head loss, uh, like decreasing by a factor of 32. First, uh, we a pipe of the required diameter is selected from this setup and then uh, except for the selected diameter pipe then the rest of the pipes are closed and then the main inlet pipe valve uh, is open to allow water to flow through the selected diameter pipe open the open the pipe and change the note of manometer from isolate position in which to air uh, when position to remove the air inside inside the pipe then we change the note to read position when the steady flow is reached is inside the pipe then turn on the turn on the exit valve of the collecting tank to allow water flowing inside the pipe to continuous flow out and then note down the manometer reading uh, actually there are different trials and we take in a trial one um, for a diameter of the pipe, it will take 15 mm, uh, where the length of the pipe is 300 centimeters, and the area of collecting tank is 3500 centimeters square, and the rise is 10 centimeter. And here you can see uh, the table. Uh, here the time taken are, uh, uh, as you can see here, uh, 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 time taken are 55. 50 uh, and there is head loss we calculated by the formula of HF is equals to FL into V square upon 2D 
G, where F is the Darcy resistance factor, L is the length of the pipe, and D is the pipe diameter. Uh, then we calculate the Q, which is uh, called a volumetric flow rate. And this is calculated by the formula of A into H upon T. Uh, units is uh, in centimeter cube. Uh, then we calculate the mean velocity uh, V, which is uh, calculated by the formula is Q upon area. And then finally, we calculate the analytical friction factor um, by the formula of 2G dH upon V square. And then we uh, get one uh, result that is the average of analytical friction factor is 0.01. And next, first, while performing this experiment, we have to make sure that all uh, all the pipes are closed, and we, we have to don't let any other pipes of left open except the except which we are performing the experimental pipe. And we have to make sure that the main inlet wall is completely opened, not like half open. And next, the source of error. While performing the experiment, we, there will be some error. Next slide, please. This is the source of error. Uh, the, the apparatus may be called the apparatus or the flow will be non streamlined flow. Uh, according, while this performance after this performance experiment is performed and we will get the average and analytical frictional factor of the pipe we will get the different analytical frictional pipe factors according to this experiment we had performed the this experiment on 50 in mm diameter pipe okay. next slide please and we perform it in 15 mm diameter pipe and the analytical frictional factor is 0 